thesmartlocal.com. Hi everyone, I'm Fauzi and welcome to a brand new episode of Wood in the Street. Back in the day, families gathered in front of the television sets to watch their favorite local dramas or sitcoms. But with the advent of the internet, more people are turning international for their fix of entertainment. So that's why I'm taking the streets to find out what Singaporeans think about local TV. What are some of your all-time favorite TV programs ever? Breaking Bad, Street Life on Deck. <laughs> I don't really watch TV much. Do you still watch dramas and sitcoms? My whole family, we kind of just branched away from the whole TV thing. I watch like on an average two hours before I sleep. I just watch Channel 8 lah. If I really like the show, then I might watch every day. Sometimes I watch Disney Channel because it's nice. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Yes! How do you guys watch these shows nowadays? Online website like Drama Nice, YouTube, Netflix, on my phone, on the pooper. On the what? On the when I shitting then I. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm asking these questions is because I want to find out what people think about local television programs. I've got a couple of pictures here that will showcase a couple of programs from past and present. And I want you to tell me if you've heard of the show before and if you know anything about it. First one is The Little Nonya. Have you heard of it? Yeah, I liked it. It was very dramatic. There was a lot of family drama. The way they dressed was very nice. Cinderella, but media called Cinderella. The Champion. Have you heard of this? Yes. Very long ago already. Yeah, 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 I remember. Why? I remember. I had you, um, you had, you... You see the shirtless, you know, can remember a bit. Uh. This one has a very iconic yeah, I, scene. I yes. know this, where they strip inside the CBD area and they like all went. That's the only scene I know. In fact, in Orchard Road. <laughs> so, we're going to more contemporary ones. Life Less Ordinary, have you heard of it? Have you seen it? No. I've seen this in coffee shops. I only like glance through. Only my parents watch. I just like watch a bit and I go do my own thing. What about this? Have you heard of this one? I feel like I have, but it doesn't look familiar. I actually watched it. Yeah, it's about a uh, local army life. Yeah. Wait a minute. Xiao Niang Re. I can recognize the cast. Yeah. Uh, Holland Village. Uh, Xiao Ren Wu Xiang Chen Chong. Uh, Wei Guo Xian Chong. I don't really watch TV much. <laughs> We're going to go to English shows now, right? This one. Pachuca. Yeah. It makes the whole show even more funny, which makes me interested in watching it. This show is more like trying to promote the Singaporean culture. Put it in a comedy style, so yeah. Look at me, I have a mole here. <laughs> you know they call me in Pachukang. Really? Of course I know this show. This is my oh. show. Okay. Do you know of this show? Yes. There are really many episodes. I recently watched like 20 minutes of Tangling. I think it's about like different families like of different races. It's not bad, it's not bad. It looks good, but I just can't Comment. Have you heard of this one? This is some kind of Kim Kardashian remake. Yeah, three kiasu moms. Then they're very protective of their child when they go primary school. Then they try to vie for like this mother volunteer president. Good, good. Do you watch it? No. How you know? I saw like one episode. <laughs> Do you guys still watch local television programs? Why or why not? Nine o'clock show, you know, the Chinese one. Then sit down with my ama watch together. I still watch uh, local television, although um, I'm not as often as before because I have more commitments now. What I like about local television is that because, you know, it's filmed in a local context, it tends to be more relatable and it feels more home. Just that most of the time, the style and the plot is somewhat predictable at times. It's always the same people, the same few people on TV. Uh. But then very soon you'll get bored of them. Uh. How does local TV compare to overseas productions? Overseas production, they put in more effort. Like, you know the soundtrack, right, for the Korean drama? It's like they have like nine, eight, nine, 10 different soundtracks. Singapore TV shows, right, when they write the synopsis, it's really just the synopsis. For example, when you watch Pretty Little Liars, yeah. they always leave a lot of loopholes and a lot of cliffhangers. And like the seasons last throughout a time period. Mm. So they have like Halloween special, Christmas special. What if got Chinese year special you want to watch? Actually have what? Right? Got some shows got Chinese year special, right? I will watch that. Right? I think the effects and the, and the sound and everything. What is wrong with my boy? <laughs> What are some changes that can be made to local television programs that can add the entertainment value? Maybe they should stop trying so hard to appeal to the Singaporean experience. Target the younger audience better because they tend to be more critical towards the media. And a bit of new perspective. I think they can explore more themes. What kind of theme? Supernatural. I like the terrorist one. <laughs> Do you think that's a future for local television? Or do you think one day Singaporean TV can reach international standard? Actually, it doesn't 
doesn't matter whether they can match up to the international level. As long as the locals enjoy watching, then it's fine with that. There's chance, but I feel people these days, they want something new. They want something fresh and like exciting. Local television is more like a family style kind of scene, but it's like when it's like YouTube, different YouTubers have like different styles, so the stuff we watch appeals more to what we like. Any last words for people out there watching this video? Don't completely dismiss local TV. It's just nice to know that there's this group of people that you can identify with on TV, not just like uh, people from a, like another country and you try to be like them, but obviously it doesn't work. Support local production, like the smart local. <laughs> like the smart local. <laughs> With more choice of programs from all over the world today, less people are turning to locally produced options. But despite this, a lot of the people we spoke to agreed that more steps should be taken to help shake up the local TV landscape and help it reach a more international standard. That's it for this episode of in the Street. To watch all our other episodes, you can click over here. As always, like, share and subscribe. And until next time, bye! <laughs>